My next guest tonight is a very funny man who's been named one of Rolling Stone's five comics to watch. Please welcome Ryan Hamilton. Wow, thank you. This is nice. It's, uh, it's nice to talk to people. Uh, I don't talk to anybody. I don't talk to anybody all day, and then I talk to a lot of people, like millions today, and then I don't talk to anybody. It's a weird way to live. I feel like I'm waking up out of a dead sleep into a sprint. You know, I'm just I'm Jason Bourning into every conversation. <laughs> I uh, I tried to cancel my gym membership. Have you ever heard a lazier statement in your life than I tried to cancel? <laughs> my gym membership. <laughs> you cannot get out of this. I've walked off street gangs easier than canceling gym <laughs> memberships. I called this guy and he said, if you really want to cancel, there are two ways. No, there's just one way. <laughs> I tell you and then you do it. That's it. That's the only way. We're actually halfway done right now. <laughs> if you would just meet me in the middle, we could close the case on this one, you know? <laughs> he said, the first way is you can come in and cancel in person. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> you want to have a meeting? <laughs> what is that conversation going to be? As you can see, I spent $2,600 on four workouts. <laughs> now, <laughs> from where I'm standing, the grounds for cancellation are pretty solid, you know? Um, I've been crunching some numbers over here, and I'm on a quarterly workout plan, and it's feeling a little financially irresponsible. So if you could please just let me out. Please let me out. I don't, I don't use my gym. Do you use your gym? I wander in every three months and I go, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> my entire workout, the whole thing, this is the discipline I have, the whole thing is based on whatever machine is open. That's how I do it. <laughs> I walk around like a lost toddler for three and a half minutes, and then I go, I guess I'm gonna do neck today. Uh, <laughs> just gonna do all neck. Yeah. I'm just gonna bang out a few on the scoliosis machine over here. Just... <laughs> hey, should I sign another waiver? Because <laughs> this feels dangerous. That's all I do. I do three sets of neck, both sides, and then I go home. And it costs $750. <laughs> so if you could please let me out, just please. He said, if you don't want to come in and cancel in person, there's a second way. Oh, I'm on pins and needles over here. Uh, I can't wait to hear about the second way to cancel my gym membership. This is what he said. You can write a letter. He didn't laugh after he said that. <laughs> Write a letter. I was furious. You know why? Because I didn't sign this contract during the Civil War. <laughs> we don't write letters anymore. I don't even know how. Do you know how? I was at home Googling, how do you write a letter? <laughs> Dear my Jim, <laughs> I feel the time has come for us to part ways. Although your neck machine has <laughs> proven challenging, <laughs> I fear the cost has become exorbitant. <laughs> Furthermore, we spoke on the phone on Tuesday, and this letter is redundant. Please let me out. <laughs> Sincerely, Private Ryan T. Hamilton. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> if someone asks you to write a letter in 2016, they're bullying you. <laughs> That's how I, I felt bullied. I had to buy 50 envelopes in order to write I don't even have letter writing stuff. I was wandering around my apartment going, maybe I could make an envelope or something like that. You know, maybe I could cull together some of these raw materials and somehow fashion an envelope.
but no, I have 49 envelopes left. It's uh, a lifetime's worth of envelopes. My children's children will have envelopes. <laughs> They'll be telling stories about how their grandfather walked to the CVS in a full-on rage <laughs> and brought back this now tattered box of envelopes so that we could also cancel our gym memberships. And by the way, he had to walk by his gym in order to purchase them. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been really great.